Thanks for your honor, quick one. Congratulations again. Um, so I guess first point, uh, Ryan Dennis about doing this game, uh, coming in and finishing so critically. Uh, firstly, yeah, just what, what difference does it make in terms of, of team balance and, and how strong the team is having him come in and reply? And um, more generally, uh, coming back into the team after an extended absence a couple of years ago, uh, what, what sort of difference has that made to the, the team dynamic and, and the dressing room? Well, obviously, Tendo has been back for about a year and a half now. He was there in Zimbabwe as well. Um, Having a guy like him in a change room, not only on the field, but also off the field helps uh, quite a bit. There's a lot of knowledge um, where you can, so it's a resource to tip a lot of information from. Um, and I would say when he's out in the field, uh, especially in a tough condition like this, or in a tough chase, having him out in the middle um, always settles the nerves down a little bit because uh, he's such a quality player. And I think not just in tournaments like these, but I think all around the world, he has done that sort of job. And yeah, his, his, his quality and experience is invaluable to uh, not only to myself, but I think for the whole team. And then, uh, just looking back across the tournament, uh, what have been some performances that have really stood out for you, individual performances and team performances? And uh, are there any aspects that you're still worried about going forward? <sighs> Um, well, uh, I would say the, the, the fast bowlers as a whole uh, have been good. I think one of the um, things where we had to, well, not had to, but we decided to not play Fred today whilst bowling such an important over against Ireland was, was one of the tough decisions, but we felt on a week like this, we, we needed a change. We needed someone up the top who could hit. And Tope provided us with a little bit of a start, just 10 of that one over, but it sort of got us going rather than having... Uh, a tough start. Um, also, I, I would have to single out Ruler von der Merwe. Um, he, he doesn't go uh, badly in any game, whether it's in the bed, uh, uh, with bed, ball, or in the field. He always, always does something special. And to be fair, when we haven't had a particular someone doing something well, we've we've we fought hard, and we've had one off day, which we can have uh, in a tournament like this. And that was against PNG in the group round where, where we fielded quite badly and, and batted poorly, to be honest. Um, so I would say it's a team performance, but yeah, I think the, the paces and, 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 and Rolf uh, have been standouts for me. And, and Tendo. <laughs> um, and then I guess, yeah, looking ahead, the World Cup is still uh, a year away. Um, the, the team has an extended break now. I think Pakistan and July is the next thing on the schedule. Um, so, so yeah, what are, what are the plans for the, I guess, for the, the dub winter, uh, the team splitting up, or can we expect to see uh, the team back in action again as well? Well, that's something that's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the program as a whole. Uh, I, I hope to play some uh, cricket over the winter. Uh, some guys will be in Australia, some guys will be in Holland, some guys will be in England. Um, I think our main objective is just to make sure we still keep broadening the squad. Uh, we you, you can't go... Uh, in a year, just depending on 15 or 16 players, we have to make sure we get to sort of the 20, 25 uh, guys that we have to pick from um, when we go to Australia. And there's a couple of players waiting in the wings, uh, as, as you might know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all about what they are going to produce. And I think this team has set a, a very high standard and it's up to them to live up to those standards. And I think, like you said, what we're going to do in the winter, I think the first thing we have to do is keep working on our fitness. Um, you know, it's, as, as you see tournaments like this, it, it really breaks you down uh, physically and mentally. But that, that's, that will be our main objective. But yet, like you said, we have to we have Pakistan up next, um, which is obviously going to be a very tough fixture, but it's going to be at home. Um, and yeah, we, we, we have to see in seven months um, who are going to be our best players to, to pick for that squad. But I, I, I generally believe that we can, like I said, build that squad to sort of 20, 25 players um, who are all going to have a equal shot at uh, going to Australia. Peter Galdeno, ESPN Quick Info. Congratulations. Thank you. Throw in the corner. I asked you if Fines and Escada still had enough energy to last and you didn't think he was struggling at one stage. Clearly, wasn't the case. He is 39. He'll be 40 by the time of the World Cup. Yep. What's the secret to his success? This time of youth, I guess he has to just keep himself fit and allow some performance situations. And is there any concern that he will be able to maintain that over the next 12 months? Well, definitely no concerns. I think Ryan is one of those guys. If you 
looking to change him, you're still probably the fittest bloke around, uh, even at 39. Um, the thing is, moving forward, I, I don't know what his decision is going to be. Obviously, it's 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 entirely up to him until he wants to play. Obviously, he's got a, a contract extension with Essex for another year, uh, which which will obviously keep him uh, busy uh, for next year. Um, yeah, I, w I would say he he he, want, he would like to play another World Cup. That, that's what he told me a couple of days ago. Um, but I think we have to see it on a basis by the time we get to the World Cup, what what his decision is going to be. But um, yeah, uh, obviously it would be very helpful for us to have Tendo around because, as I said, his his experience and and his quality is um, you, you don't get it very often when a guy at uh, number five can just win win you games uh, in any sort of position, and he's done it. Um, Maybe after your comments, I don't know, uh, but he's definitely turned turned it up since then. And uh, yeah, for me, um, he, he he will be quality to have uh, in Australia. But yeah, it's, it's it's entirely up to him. Aside from the qualification moment against UAE and flipping the trophy just now, is there any one moment you can pick out from the group stage? Any one one match in particular, one one spell, one. One over, one one inning with the bat that really stands out in mind as as being a signal that gave you the confidence that we've got something special that's going to happen that will lead to this moment tonight. Might sound funny, but it loss against P and G is probably up there because I think that's when we really we actually came together and stuck together quite well from that and actually produced better cricket than what we've done before because um, before that we weren't quite as good as i think we were in the last couple of games um but if you look at a, a spell i mean the spell uh paul for maker bowl against the uae uh, i thought that was that was one of the most quality um spells of fast bowling i've seen when when since i've been captain let's put it that way uh brendan glover pretty much throughout the tournament and today showed it again when he comes back um to a new better or set betters, he's got a knack of taking wickets. And with that pace, and I think on these wickets, sort of from that big of a length, still hitting the top of the stumps, it's, it's vital um, coming into these uh, tournaments. Um, and I would say if, if there's a, a spell of bowling was Rule of Thunder against Ireland when he got uh, rid of uh, O'Brien and the next over Sterling, um, completely chased the momentum of the game. And that's one of the moments for me. It's it's not saying that's when I knew we were going to win it, but it's, those are standout moments for me where I go, geez, we've got some good cricketers in this team. And also not just only with the ball, but also with the bet. Um, ben Coop in his last couple of games, he's really turned it on. And, you know, Benny is a is a good, is a, obviously a good boy, but he generally makes some bad mistakes. But I think in recent times, he's he's learned a lot from that, and he's taken responsibility, especially when he uh, had to open the innings, and he's been looking very good. And yeah, also one of the reasons um, we, we we've been chasing totals down on on difficult wickets. Netherlands have been one of the most consistent teams this tournament, but going forward over the next year, given the leg break. Um, how do you see the team being able to sort of cultivate a winning habit, which might be what helps um, you guys in winning the World Cup? It's a very good question because obviously um, before this tournament, we've played a lot of players uh, throughout our summer or actually in the last sort of year and a half. Um, and what I think is going to be crucial is that sort of feeling we've had in the change room and the way we go about our cricket, if that is sort of implemented, then it's sort of guys that come in only have to play a certain way. And obviously we want to select guys suitable to that role, but winning is a habit, as you said. Um, but I think it's not just winning games, it's coming from hard practice um, and, and having good solid plans before you start to make sure that everyone's clear to go out and play but still obviously having that freedom of mind to do something special. Uh, um, so that's where I think, like I said, um, when Bird is asked, what are you going to do over the winter? I think that's where we have to create that, that sort of hard working culture to make sure we maintain the success because there's another success you want to leave here. There's something you want to bring along um, in the next year. So by the time we get to Australia, we, we're probably even better and even stronger uh, physically, mentally, but also um, playing wise.